for what's hot. It's the time when we talk about stories that has everyone talking. We're joined by Susie Fogg from the Falk Group Public Relations. Jeff Wagner back with us from 620 WTMJ. A Florida mom says her four-year-old was expelled from his preschool over a message she posted on her Facebook page. The mother claims she was not notified about school picture day. She was upset and then posted her frustration on Facebook tagging the school in that post. The school then told her they didn't want her son as a student anymore, should the child have been expelled. But the short answer is no, and I think the school needs to get to toughen up a little bit. But having said that, this is another one of these lessons about social media nowadays. It used to be you get upset with your boss or you get upset with your kid's school, you go home, you know, you tell a couple mm. people, you have a beer, you move on. Now you put it up on the Internet and it's out there for the entire world to see. And sometimes some of that world might not like what you said. Well, and especially when you tag the school in it to <laughs> yeah. make sure they do see. Well, that's right. <laughs> you know, it, it, I think the school has every right to expel or you know d uh, disengage from the family and it sort of depends on what kind of a school it was if it was a private school if it was a parental cooperative school for sure you know because parents are extremely involved I in the school if it's a cooperative school so I'd like to know more about the school but you know what you know you say expel the kid no th I think the school was severing the relationship with the family that 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 mother was spreading some pretty bad messaging about that school and maybe bringing some other parents down and she she has every right to express her opinion Facebook, letters to the editor, if they do that anymore, you know, so. But, but let, let's change the fact, just a little, let, let's say we're not living in the age of Facebook, and, you know, you're, you take your, your child to, you know, preschool, and, you know, you get upset with something, and then over a glass of wine, two days later, you kind of spout off about the school to a couple of the other parents, and they go back, and then they then tell the administrators, you can't believe what Susie was saying the mm -hmm. other night. Uh, in a circumstance like that, if they expelled your child, do you think they would be justified? Uh, well, here's the thing. It, it depends. No, no, no. It, de it depends on what you're it's signing, and, and I think parents mm -hmm. and, ki and their kids will sign some sort of an agreement with the school that says that there's a sta sort of standard code of conduct. And if that's spelled out in the code of conduct that I don't diss the school to any other parents, and the school gets wind that I'm dissing them, then yes, they have every right to expel me. I think it depends on how that 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 school agreement is, has and, been and, written. And of course, I recognize that was an unfair question because you you you're always sweetness and light. You'd oh, never absolutely. Be not. No, 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 no. School administration knows I'll talk back to them if, if But don't you be. think it's going a little too far, though, expelling a child for simply voicing your opinion? I mean, did she not just have to buy the pictures? Just don't buy the school picture. Well, this wasn't the best way of handling it. The school should have brought the mother and the family in to say, "What well, we have some problems here. I understand you, we're not working right. well work together. Out, right. Let's, Better let's, communication. Because honestly, yeah. in the end, the little boy is the one yeah. who, who takes the hit in all of this. Well, that's right. So. All right. Well, we've got much more in our What's Hot topic. And coming up next, we review, reveal, I should say, the viewer's choice topic of the day. Brian Goddard also back with another look at the forecast hot our viewers choice topic of the day and again we're joined by Susie Falk and Jeff Wagner from 620 WTMJ today's viewer choice topic the husband of an Oconomowoc woman who accidentally left her gun at a church bathroom in Brookfield has also done the same thing Gerald Hitchler left his loaded gun at Egg Harbor Fun Park earlier this month so as Jeff Wagner shakes his head the question <laughs> is should he be charged? Yeah, and I'm not shaking my head at the question, should he be charged? If nothing else, this is felony stupid. There is no way in the world that these people should be allowed to continue to carry firearms. I carried a gun for a few years back in another life. You're always aware of what that gun is. This guy left the gun in the bathroom of a kid's amusement park, for mm. goodness sakes, a couple months after his wife leaves her loaded gun in the restroom at a church. The, the judge in Waukesha didn't buy that this was a crime. I'm not sure whether he's right or not. If this isn't a crime, it should be. And they certainly shouldn't be allowed to continue to have concealed carry permits, period. Wow. Okay, I sort of take a different uh, stance on this. I think, you know, if, if the man had done it twice or the woman had done it twice, then shame on them and they should be p perhaps uh, stripped of their, their permit. But, okay, so they're, 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 they made mistakes, both of them, and shame on them. But as the, their family attorney did state, you know, it's hard to arrest or, or penalize someone for a crime that didn't happen. And it was a dumb mistake. Um, it never, the guns never got in the hands of any children or anybody for that matter. And, and yes, it's, it's stupidity and they should should probably be watched but I don't think that they should be arrested or that they should have their um, permit uh, stripped. Oh, see, and, uh, see, and I guess that's where I just agree. At the very least this is so irresponsible and any 
any f responsible firearms owner will tell you. You know, you, you know where your guns are. The, the story with the guy up in Door County, he apparently leaves his loaded gun in the bathroom at this place and doesn't even realize he's lost it. They keep thinking that somebody's going to come back and come back and get it. They end up having to call the cops. It takes them days to track him down. Mm. He wasn't even apparently aware that he had left his loaded gun well, do you think, in a bathroom. Do you think maybe he figured it out and was too afraid to go claim it? Well, uh. maybe. Do, do you think that they? Sure where why exactly did he even he need to take his it? gun off in the bathroom? Where was her gun in the church? Was it the bathroom? It was the bathroom. bathroom. Too, yeah. Okay, maybe they need some better holsters. I, you know, I, there's a way of carrying a gun and see, it's not to take it out of your pocket. And yeah. See, look, I, I fought for years and years and years on, on the radio arguing for a concealed carry law. Mm. I mean, I, I but I got to tell you. Um, that comes with responsible gun ownership. Responsible gun owners don't just lose their firearms. And if you can't pull the concealed carry permits because of stuff like this, yeah. I think the legislature should take a look at it because I don't think these people should have guns, period. Well, you know, that's what Hot Topics is all about, getting us heated up about different <laughs> discussions. But you can always continue the discussion online. You can find the page at tmj4.com slash hot. We'll be 